In this video, I explain one of the more important results in consumer behavior, and that is the relationship between Marshallian and Hicksian demand. The Marshallian demand curve comes from the utility maximization problem, where we have a budget set, and given that those affordable bundles in this triangle here, we seek to pick the best one. We basically push our indifference curves out until there are no preferred bundles that we can afford. Uh, and so we get to a bundle like bundle A. And the quantity of X that corresponds to that, that's going to be our demand curve. And it's going to be a function of prices, price of X, price of Y, and the income that, that this consumer has available. And so these are income constant demand curves come from the utility maximization problem, and these are called Marshallian demand curves. Now over here we have a similar looking graph, but it comes from a very different problem. This is a graph of the expenditure minimization problem. So given a level of utility that this consumer wants to attain, what this consumer does is he minimizes the expenditure. He picks bundles X and Y to minimize the expenditure to obtain this utility but intuitively, level. if we have the same utility level, U1, as we have over here, we minimize the expenditures, we're just going to get a tangency between what looks like a budget line. It's going to be our expenditures, uh, our, our ISO cost line, that looks like a budget line. And it's the same indifference curve. So if these, represent, these two graphs represent the same preferences, we're going to end up in the same spot. So this is going to be what we call our Hicksian demand curves. And this is going to be uh, a function of the price of X, the price of Y, and the level of utility that we seek to obtain. And this comes from the expenditure minimization problem. And so we can see the relationship between these two problems. So we attain this level of utility that's given in this problem. We are given this level of income that's given in this problem. And if the utility matches up and the expenditures are exactly the same, we end up with an equality here. And notice that these expenditures over here, if we write them, uh, write them out, we could think about them as, as the cost, or there's a cost function, it's a function of the price of X, price of Y, and the utility. We can go ahead and substitute that cost function in here. And one of the important relationships is that the income over here equals the cost function over here. And so we're going to go ahead and use that. And notice that we get to the same spot so why don't we, under this restriction here, just set these two different kinds of demand curves equal? And in fact they are. I'm going to substitute in here the cost function. And so at this utility level and at that expenditure level, we get the same quantity and uh, at the same quantity for our Hicksian and our Marshall. can rewrite this, uh, it turns out there is a math result that gives us that this is our Marshallian demand. You can go ahead and look that up in any uh, mathematical uh, economics uh, 
textbook that that'll or go ahead and look up on Wikipedia, and you'll uh, you'll discover that this result is indeed true. And we can go ahead and bring this part over to the other side, and here's what we'll get. It is the price effect for a Marshallian demand curve equals the price effect for a Hicksian demand curve minus some income effect. So notice we have just mathematically done a decomposition of a of of the price effect for a Marshallian demand curve. It's just the price effect for a Hicksian demand curve. There's the substitution effect minus some term that depends on our income effect. And so we can think about this. If this is our uh, if this term is negative, that's an inferior good. And we'll notice that that will actually turn out to be a negative number. This demands are always going to be bigger than zero, or, or bigger than or equal to zero. And so this whole term is going to be, with this negative sign, is going to have a positive effect for a negative, uh, for a, an inferior good. And remember, if we're just moving along in a difference curve, price effects always have a negative relationship. And so you can see that this exhibits the possibility of a given good. But you can see that with a Hicksian demand curve, that's always going to slope down.